What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Saturday Night. We back at it. We got some big push. Do me a favor. If you're new to my channel, if you're not new to my channel, run over to their page and, uh, and uh, subscribe to them. Support them. Show the artist some love. Um, I don't know if Ren's, Ren's at that Millie spot yet, man. We got to get him there. And uh, support all of them, though. They're all great. We've got, uh, it looks like, it looks like, uh, it looks like we got an Elvis theme. We got Bebopalua. You all know that song. That's, um, that's not his song. That's Gene Vincent's song, um, also done by, I think, John Lennon and Jerry Lee Lewis and Elvis. I don't know what order that went in. You could probably look at date ranges. Um, I would think Elvis is probably second to third. I don't know. Of, of those, it's been done. You know, be Bapaluma, she's my... These are all, all going to be bluesy rock songs. Um, Heartbreak Hotel, interesting story there. So there was a drummer named, or not a drummer, he was a guitarist, uh, Tommy Durden. And he, he read an article, um, it's about a suicide note, about somebody who like wrote a suicide note that said like something creepy like, I walk a lonely path and disappeared into the woods or something. Um, something to that effect. It's, I took an Elvis electives class in college, so I like... You can take it online. I did, took a Beatles one, too, speaking of John Lennon. So you have to learn about this shit. Hound Dog. Um, what was her name? Um, something May. Uh, uh, Willie May Thornton. Um, she was a, a, a black, bluesy singer. Um, if you're called the Hound Dog, and per those lyrics at that time, it's like... A, it's like street slang for like a cheap gigolo. So it's um, the Heartbreak Hotel story is interesting though because that was his first, I believe, his first single to go over a million. Um, the Tommy Durden guy like sort of found his way through Elvis's secretary, through some producer's secretary. I don't know the story anymore. It's been a minute, um, but found their way to Elvis, and they basically said that this dude's got it. He just needs a hit, and that was the one. Right, so that that was his catapult. Uh, I'm gonna jump in before I, I I don't know that any of that made any sense or is even even true. I honestly don't know. I'm, but I do want to hear um, I do want to hear them on some some bluesy shit. Knowing these songs and and what they do with their arrangements, I'm gonna guess we have mostly Gorin on the vocals, right? Ren might get in there, but I, I would think. This suits this suits him because he's he's got more of a constant sort of deeper tone um, that gets that hits those sort of old schooler old soul. There needs to be soul in these songs. These are all like bluesy soul songs uh, that are redone in a rock way. Um, thanks to thanks to the King. Let's go. Here we go. The main Romaine sing that often. He's doing good. Um, I've seen him sing before. Um, usually not solo. Usually he's either harmonizing or there's back and forth involved. Um, but no, this is this is cool though. He's definitely I've I've heard plenty of him sing. I think they all four can sing. Some weirdly, I think that I think I've seen like a behind the scenes something, or he might have been dicking around in, in a studio. I, I'm not sure, but I think I saw Glenn sing. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may be very wrong. I usually am.
He's color coordinating with my hat right now, and I feel a certain way about that. And the shoes that I wore today. I mean, who's to say I'm not wearing that underneath, but time and place, man. Middle of the road. This music has to be so much fun to play. It's just it's just a fun time period. You look at music over the ages and like every transitionary period, decade by decade, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, pretty much up until about 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, they're all, tra you know, they're all transformative in a positive way. They're all changes were good. Um, it led to it led to great differences or great improvements. Right. Um, the last 15, 20 years have been fucking death of music. Uh, pretty much there's good artists out there but like you look at like I grew up on punk music right so I you know um, going back to like the Ramones and the Clash to um, you know my favorite bands growing up were Pennywise and Bad Religion and you know stuff like that um, but even any, anything country you know go back I like older country better than newer country um, newer countries and I like country I'm okay with country um, I'm okay with pretty much any genre and I usually prefer it years ago over to, it, it might just be me being like, get off my lawn guy. Um, and I'm maybe even just sort of showing my age or bitterness at the garbage today, but it's especially rap. God damn it. I used to like rap a lot. Um, I want to tattoo a tear right here just for the death of rap. Fucking pour one out for my, for my, my dead homies that were, you know, anyways, um, they're still with us in spirit because we have their song but regardless it's music like i like i like older rock a lot of more classic rock than newer rock i like you can you could run through a list of any genre it's regardless but i digress it has to be fun to play the shit because it's got actual soul so it brings a different a different feeling inside you and, and it allows you to sort of especially with stuff like this which is rock bluesy jazzy in parts to you can you can sort of riff off and, and sort of do your own thing with the instrument instrumentation as long as you kind of keep um the melody you know where it's supposed to be at like a lot of bluesy stuff dun, 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 dun. i mean there's commonalities amongst a lot of it like it it's sort of a lot of that stuff sort of sounds very similar however you can get real loose in some other areas to really make it unique thank you for proving my point remain Now we got Heartbreak Hotel and we got Gorin. See, Gorin's got a great voice suited towards this shit. Um, you'll see, I think, in a second here if he, if, he, if they keep him on this. Got a little low Elvis growl he's getting to. Ren is just wandering around. Does he even have an instrument? <laughs> is he just enjoying the party? <laughs> what is Ren doing? Stumbling around the streets like usual, but <laughs> fucking dancing around.
Did I just fuck up the audio? I missed it. Mic's off, boys. I think. And his dubbing's off. What is going on here? Did I fuck something up? Yeah, his mic's off. Um, because you heard him yell, but that was through Romaine's mic when Goran just yelled, so a little technical difficulties. You're performing on a street, it's fine. I just noticed too, um, Uh, Glenn, he keeps that he keeps that kit trim. He has a floor tom, a bass drum, a crash cymbal, a hi hat, and a snare. He doesn't have multiple toms, multiple cymbals. He doesn't have a ride. There's there's not a there's not a whole lot of. I, mean, I guess you don't really need it with this stuff. You're just it's kind of all you need. But I don't. I wonder if that's a portability thing. Did they? How old is this? Did they not have like a van yet? Is this just like what you can carry on your back? These, these three are like, I just got a guitar. He's like, man, guys, give me a hand with this shit. Uh, super cool. Yeah, no, I mean, how can you how can you go wrong with with covering Elvis? Besides, in so many ways, um, they did it justice though. It's it's hard. There's it's hard to take on the King, and there's there's some things that you don't you don't tackle, you know. Um, but like. You don't try to tackle a fucking Celine song. Like why? You're not you're not doing it better. Um, but in some senses, with with rock and stuff like this, it's not about doing it better. It's just about have, having a good time with it, making it your own. And they did. So and it's not like Elvis wasn't great because he was the best vocalist. Elvis was great because he he was a performer. Um, he had swag, whatever swag was in like the 40s 50s 60s 50s 60s 50s 60s um he had that he had that it he's not you know some people just have that it whether or not they're the best at something singing dancing whatever they have that it um that's all i got to say but there's a you could you could redo songs that somebody else redone and made more famous ain't nothing wrong with that uh that's all i got for now um hope you all had a wonderful wonderful saturday and um, I hope your Sunday is even better. And yeah, if you like, like, please comment down below. Make your way over to Patreon. Um, more stuff is going to be going there. And you have easier access to tell me what to do. So you can puppet me around. Puppet? Pup, puppet me around. And uh, <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. Um, and, and yeah. And I'll, I'll do Rex. So you can get, get at me there. Or at least go follow me on the new... Um, the new Instagram. I'll be using that for different things as well. So it's all free. It's all fun. Um, it's all just taking down the machine that is YouTube. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll catch you on the next.